Hey guys, so today we have a little short Sunday story. Just something to throw out there for anybody just chilling on a Sunday in lockdown, like we all are. <laughs> yeah, um, like it's not that long, so remember, like, comment, and subscribe. We've also got a bit of an announcement at the end of the video, but like, hope you guys enjoyed the story. I thought it was something a bit fun, a bit different, and you know, why not? Be me, Gary Oldman, the human bard. Be not me, human fighter and gnome rogue. On a job to figure out why raids are happening like clockwork in the area. Riding my large wolf down the path. Come around a corner and see a demon bird attacking monks. Sit and watch the fight for a minute to see what's going on. Demon bird appears to be an Akarai. Lesser demon rumoured to test cultists' dedication to their cause. Looks like it is testing a group of cultists right now. Can't have cultists here. Oh no. <laughs> I was very saucy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pull out sword and activate dragon fire inspiration for extra damage. Cast Whirling Blade and throw Fiery Sword at the group. End up missing the bird demon but still kill half of the cultists. Rogue sneaks off into the trees to get behind the demon. Fighter waits for the group to charge. Remaining cultists turn to see my sword returning to my hand like I'm Darth Vader. <laughs> they try to run around the fighter and I while trying to flee. We drop the remaining two cultists with attack of opportunity. Bird demon charges me in my mount. Wolf chomps the bird demon. Bonus damage for dragon fire inspiration is enough to kill it. Cultists and demons appear to be spreading in the area. Are the raids around here led by a cult? Yes, it most definitely <laughs> is. We'll need to see if anyone knows anything at the inn we are headed to. Arrive around noon and decide to get a drink. Group of about 30 people walk in and start preaching. They are dressed like the cultists we met on the road. No armour and only a stick to protect them. Preaching about pacifism and giving up the adventuring life. They better not be messing with my income here. Owner walks over and quietly tells them to knock it off and leave in the morning. Owner calls me over to the bar. Says we get free rooms for the night because he doesn't like the preacher. Preacher doesn't like us so we must be okay people. Owner asks us for a favour in return. I offered to kill the preacher. That guy is messing up future job opportunities and I can't have that. He declines the offer. He just wants us to look into the cult and see what they're up to. Agree to look into the cult and promise not to kill a preacher while in his inn. Grab drinks and dinner. Overhear the preacher ranting the whole time. Rogue and fighter go to bed early. Stay and enjoy the drinks for an hour or so. Preacher eventually becomes too much to listen to. Decide to go back to my room and crash. Get woken up by shouting downstairs. Way too early in the morning for this. Go downstairs and see preacher shouting at the innkeeper. Cast suggestion on the preacher to get him to leave and stop arguing. I need my beauty sleep and this isn't helping. Preacher resists and start lecturing me about giving up my violent ways. Claims doing violence in the name of good creates unnoticeable evil in the world around us. Tell him that if this is true, then he is mistaken about me. Explain I spread good everywhere I go. Put my hand on my weapon and ask him if he would like to take a walk outside with me. He asks if I am threatening him. Tell him that is exactly what is happening here if he doesn't keep it down. Preacher tells me to go back to my room. Tell him I will return if he continues to disturb my rest. This preacher's getting fucking lacked soon. <laughs> go back to my room and catch up on my sleep. Get woken up later to the owner knocking on my door. His daughter is missing and the preacher left a ransom note. Given a location to a meeting point. Ask him for some objects with daughter's scent. May need my wolf to track her and would need her scent. Give an old sock and told to hurry. Grab party and head to the meeting location. See two cultists in the road. Not happy to see us. Why are you here? You are not the innkeepers. You are an adventurer. Where is the innkeeper? Feels like perfect opportunity for a witty remark. Begin speaking and preparing for a fight. Clearly the innkeeper is at the inn, where he belongs. Start moving closer to them. I am an adventurer who is here to rescue the damsel from monsters, where I belong. Draw my sword. Now my question is... Are you a monster? Yes, he fucking is. <laughs> yes. We all know this by now. It's a ploy. No, let's not get any adventure. So it means we can have our evil doomsday cult can set up and there's no, <laughs> going to be no one to stop it. Cast suggestion on one of the cultists. Try to avoid the fight and have them lead us to the missing daughter. He fails to save and starts walking away. I follow him. Rest of the party waits to see how the other cultists will react. Cultist hits me as I pass. Fighter charges the cultist and knocks him down. Kills him before he can stand back up. We follow the smart cultist to a cave. Head down a long tunnel before entering a large chamber. Daughter is in the back of the chamber. Preacher and large group of cultists step between us and the kidnapped daughter. 
turn to the party to see how they want to handle it. Looks like they hate the preacher as much as I do. Cast suggestion on the preacher to get him to turn over the daughter. He resists and laughs at the attempt. He begins to monologue. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Dismount my wolf and activate dragonfire inspiration. Everyone draws weapons. Cultists charge us. Luckily most of them miss. I am the only one hit and only took three damage. Fighter crits one of the cultists and they drop. Rogue starts stabbing everything and everyone around her. She is starting to get surrounded. Notice that I have a perfect line of five cultists between me and the rogue. Cast Whirling Blade and throw my sword through five cultists. Drop all but one. Took care of half of the people surrounding the rogue and the fighter. Order my wolf to go guard the daughter on the far side of the cave. It runs off and plants itself between her and the rest of the fight. Preacher backs up towards my wolf and starts slinging spells at the fighter. Not sure what they are, but they don't seem to affect him. Fighter charges a new cultist but misses his attack. Rogue drops one but gets crit by another. Loses a quarter of her HP to one attack. Decides to start backing up to heal. Wolf isn't happy about the preacher getting closer and tries to bite him. Fails but is still a good boy. Good boy. While the party is stuck swinging away at the cultists, Preacher tries something sneaky. He casts invisibility. Fighter and I drop. Rogue tries to heal up but gets stabbed by the Preacher. Almost expected him to say, nothing personal kid. Oh no. <laughs> Teleports behind you. <laughs> Decide this is my one chance. Have one more whirling blade and a perfect shot at the Preacher and another cultist. Only problem is, the fighter is in the firing line. Figure he will be fine and chucked my sword. RN Genus approved of my idea. Hey. Crit the cultists, miss the fighter and crit the preacher. Kill both of them with one throw. Last two cultists try running after the preacher dies. Send my wolf to hunt them down. He catches up and kills them before they even leave the cave. Such a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Go grab the daughter and tell her she can ride back to the end of my mount. The fighter and rogue loot the bodies and find some useful loot on the preacher. Apparently the preacher in robes was wearing armour after all. Breastplate had an illusion of normal robes on it. Grab the magical gear and head back to the inn. Owner thanks me for returning his daughter. Tell him I killed the preacher free of charge. Even kept my promise. We grabbed our payment and headed off to work on the job we were initially hired for. Side quests are weird sometimes when you're a bard. See, what is this about fucking preachers? I'm telling you right now, preachers are either super good or a definition of evil, evil in every <laughs> game I've ever came across. They're either the hyper good type or the hyper evil type. There's no one between with a preacher. You can't just have like you know, a morally ambiguous one, can you? You know? And if you heard anything a bit weird with the audio today, I don't know what is up with our mic. Something's wrong with the audio. I, yeah. I've had to sit the entire time recording that with a towel over my head. <laughs> I know, we had to like encircle. I don't know, there's some weird encircle background noise. Encircle me with a towel. We don't know what's up with the I microphone. Don't know what's wrong with but it. look, we've got that sort of day. We're going to fix that. Yeah, <laughs> it's honestly. 5G. It's a coronavirus coming for us. But no, look, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this story. I've got a wee bit of an announcement. So, we've been having some issues with the. Uh, West March server, for the most part, I think it's been going very well. We've had tons of games, and people have been enjoying it. You know, and we did open the server a bit too early because originally, like, you know, we started this server, what, maybe about two months ago now? Originally, it was in test mode. Yeah, it was in test mode. COVID-19 hit. COVID-19 hit, so we decided, you know what, people, people are stuck in isolation. Uh, let them have fun. Let them play a bit of D&D. &D. Yeah, that's pretty Come much what it came down to. As a nice, fun time. Yeah. Um, but boys decided to gurn. Yeah, we've had too much people complaining about, like, you know, stuff that obviously... People forget that this was in... This is testing mode. Yeah, it was and people in decided to go away and gurn about it on Reddit. So, so we can't really. So what we're doing is we're going to close it off. We're not taking any more new players. We're just going to work with what we got, which of course is better for the like you know for the game as a whole. However, it's just disappointing. I have to more remember than there was a thousand odd players to like twenty, 20 DM. DMs. Yeah. So, you know, it did get... Like, you know, you would get people complaining. And there are very, very valid complaints. However, it's kind of hard for people to explain to them. And they don't really understand that this is in playtest mode. This game is more of a beta than anything. It's like a game that's... It's a game in early release, yeah. almost. But, uh, no, there is... And when your first instinct is to run away to Reddit, to start squealing. Yeah, it's... On 
a yeah. beta test in server. Which, uh, you know, it's more just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm more just disappointed with the whole, like, come of it. Yeah. You know, it kind of... We just wanted something fun for everyone yeah, to Yeah, you know. It, like, but I can't, we, we just don't want the noise of it. Yeah, pretty much. I, I was it's not for the players and it's not for the people who really enjoyed yeah. it. It's for the, the handful of people who just... just can't have, you know what I mean? They're it was upset. Just annoy- you yeah. just hear noise in the background. Yeah, so I just don't want to have to be dealing with that. Which, you know, I, I was talking to the DMs, actually. I, I, I'll look up this up soon. But I was talking to a few of the DMs, and we were talking about it. And the server was going on very well. Whenever we were still in, like, you know, the playtest mode, and we only had, like, 100 players, and it was working very well. And, you know, at the time, it was the best. It was the right thing to do, opening up the server to everyone and letting people play that would not normally be able to. But, you know, like, as I said, there's just too much background noise. There's too many people fucking garning and shit like that. And, you know, it's... I just can't be annoyed with yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't be annoyed with it either. I couldn't be dealing like, with it. there's far more... There's worse things going on in the world right now than having to deal with boys here garning about a D&D server. Yeah, you know. and But don't get me wrong, some of the complaints are valid. Like, you know, for instance... Yeah, they, no, no. A lot no, of the, the complaints like, are val- valid. Like, the, for instance, like the XP rate... That oh, should yeah. the XP rate is very low, but then but the thing is, people complain. Okay, we're not running enough games for people to actually get into. But if you ramp up the XP, then you've got more players at different levels. Then it's just you're gonna have less sessions for everyone overall. And you also you need to remember it is more of like an MMO style tabletop game almost because with that many players yeah. like I don't really want to get into all of it I just kind of want to tell you guys the, the basic gist yeah it. the basic gist and like you know it's more of an server shop <laughs> yeah I just kind of feel disappointed with the whole thing and like I hope everyone that's in is in the server and is playing is enjoying themselves but like I'll talk I to hope you guys everyone staying safe yeah stay safe whatever you wash do wash your hands wash your butt like comment subscribe all that good shit and we'll talk to you later on but no I would rather just get that out there alright talk to you boys later hope you enjoy and you understand bye all those moments lost in time